I thank you, Lord, that you've given us spiritual senses that correspond with our natural senses. I thank you, Lord, that you want us to exercise our spiritual senses. You want us to discern. You didn't call us to be without the ability to smell. You called us to be able to use smell just like we see, hear, just like we say, just like we feel. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you right now to, I bind the unbelief in this room and on this broadcast in Jesus' name. First of all, I break and bind the unbelief in Jesus' name. And, Lord, I ask you to activate this in us to a new level. Lord, make our sense of smell in the spirit keen. Help us to correlate between the natural and the spiritual. Help us not to miss what you're trying to show us through the sense of smell in the spirit. Stir up this gift on the inside of us, the gift of discerning of spirits through smelling in Jesus' name. And Father, right now I ask you to cause us to smell something in the spirit. Let us, allow us to smell something in the spirit, smell something of you in Jesus' name. I already smell something. Maybe y'all should stand up here. I do. Go ahead. Just take a minute. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Breathe in through your nose, not your mouth. Who smells something? Kathy? Kathy never smelled before. What do you smell? I smell something kind of sweet, like a candle burning. She smells something kind of sweet, like a candle burning. Does anybody else smell that? Alexis, you smell the same thing or something similar? You smell the same thing. Anybody else? You smell grape juice. Prophet Vanessa, what do you smell? I smelled something that smelled sweet too, and I guess I could describe it as like a candle burning, but it had more, a little bit of a, like a floral tint to it. It was, I can still smell it. Can you smell it? See, that's what the Lord, we're all smelling the same thing because that's what the Lord is causing us to smell. Father, I ask you to help all of us smell the same thing right now in Jesus' name. Grape juice is kind of sweet. Do you smell it? Father, unclog their noses. You smell it? You smell it now? Karen, can you smell it now? I, I smell something. I smell, when you were praying, the first thing I smelled was something like, um, fresh, like uh, fresh water and like something that was sheets drying in the wind. Hmm. You got a whiff of that? You got a whiff of that too? See how you thought it was you? I did. Then I think I smelled what they're talking about too. And it's kind of like, it's a sweet but it's kind of ointmenty. Like it smells almost like an ointment. Like an ointment that would have fragrance to it. See, sometimes it's difficult to describe what it is you're smelling because that's why I'm saying... You know, obviously we only have so many hours in a day and this is not all that critically important. But when you are smelling something and you're having a hard time describing it, we could at least ask the Lord, what is this that I'm smelling? Like, what is this? You know, wet paint has a very distinct smell. So some things we know what they smell like, but other things, and I, I think that's just, you know, it's the fragrance of his presence. 
And that, that clean, that, you know, it's probably just like a cleansing. Sometimes, it, sometimes you'll see a vision and smell something at the same time. Or you'll see something. You'll hear something. So a lot of times the spiritual senses work in tandem with others. So, so usually when I, like when I see a picture, like on the prayer calls, I'll see a picture. And I'll hear the Lord say something about the picture, a word of knowledge. And then I'll go off into prayer from that. So the spiritual gifts and the senses tend to, tend to work in tandem. I still smell it. You know those aren't real candles. <laughs> Provenance is mad at me for telling you that. They're not. They look nice. All right, anybody else have any other questions? You can ask, you can practice this. You can go into different environments. I mean, especially like even, even like churches. If you smell some kind of foul smell in there, it's either coming from the, the church or it's coming from the person. You, you, but man, that's, I can't believe you can't smell that. It's so strong. You're smelling the grape juice that Matthew smelled. It's not grape. He smelled grape. Yep. It's very strong to me. It's very strong. I, was, I have to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting that. It's not that I didn't believe, but I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. And see, it's so easy to say, well, that's just my imagination. But it's not your imagination. You're, as soon as you smell something, you know you smell it. Especially if it lingers. My, it's really strong up here. I must smell like Jesus. <laughs> I'm smelling myself. You're starting to smell it now? That's so cool. So ask the Lord to start sh sh showing you smells in the spirit. And he, he, part of anything in the gifts of the spirit, the realm of discerning or any other gift, is being hungry to learn about it and experience it. It's really strong now. <laughs> He's like, it's really strong. It, come stand up here, come. Now can you smell it? You can smell it now? It's up here. Karen, come smell it. I know we look like lunatics. If this ever got out, <laughs> they're coming to take me away. Ha ha, hee hee, ho ho. Mm -hmm, it's here. Can you smell? I smell a big waft of it just came through. Did you smell, I smell that? It here. It's, I don't smell it down there. Yes, because that's my fragrance. 